up everybody welcome back to pens and tea my name is carrie and today we are going to be talking about a beast of a notebook <laughs> look at the size of this thing it's it's bigger than my head and i have a pretty big head <laughs> Uh, so before we get too far into it, uh, I do want to let you know that this was sent to me free of cost, uh, but I was not paid for the review. My camera sliding again. <laughs> um, but I was not paid for the review. Um, so all thoughts and opinions that are expressed are my own. Um, and yeah, so let's jump right into it. So I was reached out to by a woman named Anna. Uh, or Anna, I'm not sure exactly how she pronounces it, um, but I was reached out to on Instagram um, to see if I wanted to review her uh, book binding, uh, which is what she does. Uh, so I'm gonna show you her little business card here. Uh, so it's Gats B C N. Uh, her name is Anna or Anna. Uh, she is a book binder. Here's some information there that's not quite. I'll show you a closer up close up in a moment so you can actually see the, the fine details of that. Uh, but she's a bookbinder uh, from Spain. Um, she's got an Etsy shop that you can check all of this out for. Um, actually, I think it's a, a pro real proper website now. Um, so you can check that out as well. Um, there's tons of information on her uh, website also about her whole backstory uh, and how she started back in 2011. Um, you know, book binding, which is on vacation with her boyfriend in Mexico. Um, desire to have a shop, love of book binding kind of evolved from there. Um, and now has a website powered by Squarespace. This is not sponsored by that, even though every other YouTuber seems to be these days. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so she reached out to me and asked if I'd like to review this. And I said, yes, uh, because when I checked her website, um, I just really liked the look of this book. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. It seems like, you know, something that you would see uh, in like a movie with like, you know, wizards and stuff like that, where they pull out this huge, huge cool um book that you know is like got some magic spells or something in it yes i'm a nerd i know um so i said yes uh took a hot minute to get here from spain uh in fact this is not the original one that she sent me um she sent me two because the first one got lost somewhere in the ether of Middletown, um coming from spain to canada uh, not something that typically happens to me but unfortunately did this time um so this is her spring back journal with um, an inlay here. Uh, this is obviously a tree. Um, there are tons of customizations that you can make when looking into your book. So you can choose the color of the actual binding. Like the, um, This is obviously like a deep red burgundy. You can choose this color. You can choose different inlays. Um, you don't have to have an inlay at all. You can have an imprint. Um, you can have like uh, embossing. You can have different logos. You can choose you know, the different paper that you want on the inside of your um, cover here. You can choose the actual paper that you want um, to be the, the book itself. Uh, there's a couple of different layouts. Um, you know, this has two um, bookmarker things, um, which I'm forgetting the term of right now, but you can customize your notebook to be your notebook which is really cool um i like that a lot and this book man like you could kill someone with this thing um i mean if you if compare it to something like this which is like a standard notebook look at the difference in width it's crazy it's like three times the size of your average journal um which is just mind-blowing <laughs> so and it is heavy like heavy you got to have some muscles like you know you just eat your protein and do your curls <laughs> um it packs a punch and this is solid um you are not going to be able to break this thing uh this will last you pretty much an entire lifetime um as it is so huge um it is 52 gsm tomoe river paper um so it's very thin here um, and Tomoe River paper is bellissimo. Uh, so highly recommend. Um, what I do like as well is that there is zero branding on 
any of this. None whatsoever. The only branding is the little business card that you get um, that's just tucked in the package. So nothing, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, there are a lot of things I like about this. So, I mean, I've already mentioned a few. Um, I love the way that it looks. Um, I love the way that it feels. It feels very well built. It is exceptionally well put together. Um, I think it's gonna last a really long time. I love that you can customize it. I love that it's gonna be with you probably for the rest of your life. Um, I really do like that uh, tree inlay there. Um, I like the fact that it gives me like a magical vibe, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be on like a bookshelf for uh, for a long time. Um, there's really only a couple things that I'm not super crazy about. Um, one is that I wish um, I could get lined Tomoe River paper. Um, I do have an insert that I keep behind the pages so that I can have a line guide. Um, it's not the biggest deal um, breaker or anything like that, but it is something I wish I could have. Um, it is a little bit heavy, which I like and dislike, and I'll get further into that in a moment. Um, but I think the biggest thing uh, is the price. Um, so for the book itself, so for all of the customizations that I have, so the Tomoe River paper, um, the inlay here, um, like the actual Springback journal itself, um, it brings it to, with shipping, uh, it brings it to 200 euros, uh, which translates into uh, just a little over $300 Canadian. Uh, American, you're going to be less than that um, just because of the dollar exchange value. Um, but for me, if I were to purchase it and have it shipped to me in Canada, this would be about 300 bucks, uh, which is pretty darn expensive. Um, and I have a little bit of mixed feelings with that. One, um, nobody really wants to part with $300 if they don't have to. Um, but two, I also understand because I'm sure a lot of time goes into this. So that's probably what you're paying for most um, is, you know, the time that it takes Anna to actually put this together. Um, not only the materials itself, Tomoe River is um, also a little bit more expensive paper, but it's also pretty much the best for fountain pens, um, which I covet because I am pretty much a fountain pen only person. Um, so I appreciate that. It is, like I said, a huge book. So you get a lot <laughs> for your money. Um, and I mean, like I said, it's, it's very well made. It is impeccably well made. So this will probably last you an entire lifetime. So it is very expensive, um, but it does feel like it could also be um, an investment piece, um, sort of like, you know, with furniture. You can buy a couch for like a hundred bucks uh, that'll last you maybe a year, or you could, you know, buy a couch for $2,000 that'll hopefully last you a decade. Like it's sort of that, you know, same, same deal. Um, so it is very expensive. It's not something I think most people would buy on a whim, uh, but that said, um, if you're into this kind of thing, I think it will last you a very, very long time. Um, and from the quality of this piece that I've seen here, um, I would say that you won't be disappointed uh, with the actual journal. But let's uh, get into a closer up. I'll talk uh, about some more details when you can actually see the notebook itself. Okay, so a little bit of a close up look of this bad boy. It is meaty. <laughs> um, I like the texture of the book. The paper feels really smooth. I mean, there's some cut marks here, but I mean, what else is new with paper? Um, the whole, like the actual like material feels really nice. Um, I like the rigid kind of old school book look <laughs> on the back. Um, the actual back of it is all the same. There's no branding, which is cool. Um, you can choose your own insert here. Um, this is the one that was sent to me. Um, it feels really nice. Um, you can choose the uh, material that you want on the inside as well. Um, this was just the one that was sent to me. Um, and then this is all of the contact information. If you wanna reach out uh, to get your own copy, 
And I just thought that was super cute. I liked that a lot. So I'll leave that there. Um, so a couple of the beginning pages and then you have where my samples begin. If you hear my cat in the background, apologies. <laughs> Um, so like anything, uh, Tomoe River, the paper is fantastic, um, super smooth, handles ink like a champion. Um, you know, if you've ever used Tomoe River before, you know exactly what you're going to expect. Um, you see nice, crisp lines. You see a lot of shading, sheen. Uh, it really brings out the best properties of the ink. Uh, it is thin, so of course there is lots of ghosting, um, but there's no bleed through other than a little bit on the Sharpie, but I've yet to find a book that actually can handle Sharpie. Um, and there was a tiny little bit um, from the Twisby Mini, but that's because the nib was exceptionally sharp and I'm pretty sure it actually cut the paper. Um, so as you can see here, I wrote out some notes uh, as I was thinking about it, uh, pros, beautiful definitely beautiful i really like it i love the sort of vintagey you know old school spell book type you know vibe um pros is i actually like that it's heavy you'll notice it's also in the cons i'll get to that um it feels like a brick house i mean it feels like you're gonna have this book forever um it is customizable like i said you can choose um the things on the outside like the the embeds here you can choose what you want, you know, uh, graphically on the inside. Um, so that's really cool. It is one of a kind handmade. Um, so that is even better because then you're also supporting small businesses. Tomoe River paper, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, I do wish it was the heavier uh, 68 or 62 gram. I can't remember which one it was. This is the 52. Um, so that's why there is so much ghosting. Um, it feels luxurious, definitely. <laughs> definitely feels luxurious. Um, it feels well built. Um, definitely, like a lot of attention and time went into this book. Um, and I mean, it's probably going to last you forever. <laughs> um, cons is also heavy. So for me, I, I like it because I'm probably not going to ever take it anywhere um, other than just using it in my room. So I kind of like that it's heavy. Um, it kind of gives to that like vintagey, like, you know, again, spell book. I imagine this, you know, being pulled from like Dr. Strange or whatever to like learn some secrets. <laughs> uh, but for those who want to travel a lot with their book, um, I just knocked water. Uh, who wants to travel with their book? It's probably not the best uh, thing for you. Um, it is very expensive, uh, but it's also handmade. Um, you know, it, it is definitely an investment. You're going to have it for a very long time. Uh, and the only other con is that it doesn't lay flat. Um, so it wants to close on you. Um, even when you're in the middle of the book, uh, the weight of the paper will keep it open. Um, but because it is so thick, uh, you won't get a flat surface. It's going to have, um, the, the rounded edges here. Um, and then of course, when you get to the end of the book, uh, it also then starts to pull on you um, and wants to close, not as much as in the beginning for whatever reason, um, but it is something you're going to have to uh, get used to. Um, so double ribbon marker, to me, mm, I'd be good with one um, because I would probably like use this as like an actual journal, um, but it's there if, if you want. Um, so we'll go back to beginning here. Do, 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 do. Um, so this was just something I was doing, kind of writing some more thoughts on. Uh, basically anything Tomoe River is great. Uh, paper is first class and I love that it's handmade. Very large format will last a long time, but does make it a little difficult to use. Uh, this is because your hand can't rest on the table, causing me to raise my hand to place it back at the start of a new sentence. Not a huge deal, but it is noticeable for longer writing. Uh, this is definitely something you would use at home for some intentional writing, maybe with a cup of tea. Um, so what I meant by that is when you're writing, you're, because the book is so thick, your arm is, is cut. You can see like there's a large gap in between where your arm rests on the table 
and where the actual book rests, um, which makes it a little uncomfortable um, for longer writing sessions. And when you get to about mid page, your hand falls off the book too. So you kind of have to like hold your hand up and then bring it back. Kind of like an old typewriter, you know, when you hit the end and it dings and you got to lift it up and go all the way back. Most of you probably have never used one of those. <laughs> um, so, you know, it just, in, in, it, to leave your hand on the actual table, you'd be writing like this. Um, so it's just the little things to keep in mind. Um, you know, because the notebook is so large, uh, those are, you know, some factors that you have to take into consideration. And that's why I think this would be more suited for, uh, shorter writing sessions. Um, you know, it would last you forever. Uh, but for, for very long writing sessions, uh, especially in the beginning and the end of the notebook, um, in the middle, it'd probably be better. Um, but it would be something to keep in mind. Um, and then, yeah, there is a lot of ghosting. Some people don't want to have um, stuff written on the back um, just because they would compete, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, I have cut out um, a line guide, that, which is just honestly another piece of paper, um, so that I can put it in the notebook um, so that I can actually write in a straight line. Um, for those who know me, I prefer to have lined paper um, because I just do, I don't love blank paper because then I have to have something like this because I cannot write a straight line to save my soul. Uh, although it does look nice, like when, you know, you don't have that lined copy in there. Um, no pocket in the back. You don't need it. I mean, this isn't something that you would like be taken to school or something. <laughs> um, this is something you would want to like, you know, whack somebody over the head with. <laughs> um, but I think it's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, it wouldn't be something, like I said, that would be like a longer writing uh, session. I mean, to compare it next to this notebook here, which is the endless, uh, oh, it's upside down. The endless notebook. I mean, <laughs> first of all, it's a little bit shorter here, but look at the difference in size. <laughs> so you're definitely going to get more bang for your buck. Uh, but you know, this I think is a little bit more usable uh, in day to day life. You can take it places. This I think would be a, a stay at home sort of centerpiece of of life. Um, but the ultimate question, do I recommend it? Yeah, I, I would actually. Um, and there is a coupon code. Should you guys decide to pick one up yourselves, look in the comment section down below for that. Um, it, uh, I like it a lot. Like I said, it's Tomoe River paper. That's, that's just a winner right there for me. Um, like I said, I love the vintage you feel. Um, I do like it quite a bit. Um, I think it's going to continue to be um, something that I use as a journal. Um, this will probably last me like eight years, <laughs> uh, which is great. Like I said, it's an investment piece. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think it, it'll be something that I do for shorter journal sessions. Uh, at home, uh, on my desk, you know, got the record player going, got a cup of tea, uh, you know, sit down, maybe it's snowing outside or something, you know, just to, to sit in uh, and and spend some time intentionally writing down thoughts. Um, but yeah, so overall, I like it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, have you seen anything like this before? Uh, does it pique your curiosity? Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want more content every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesdays. Um, guys, as always, I really appreciate you hanging out with me, sticking around, watching this far. Uh, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.